Nino impacts our local weather, but there was something else in the ocean this year that was a major contributor to the warm, dry summer we had. And that something else is simply called the blob. And our chief meteorologist, Kristen Van Dyke, shows us exactly what the blob is and what it's doing in this Coin 6 special report. It's an unsettling sight. A giant, nearly 80 foot long blue whale dead. Washed up on a beach in southern Oregon. It may be weeks before we know for sure, but scientists suspect they know what the killer might have been, and they call that killer the blob. Once again, warmer ocean waters are to blame, but this time, the blame is on the warmer water off our very own coast. These animals are having a hard time right now. The warm blob has meant that there's been very little feed for them the last two summers. And it played a big role in one of the worst winters for ski resorts in decades. It was an interesting season and uh, one that we're happy to have under our belt, and now we're looking forward to a return to normalcy. With record low snowpack for most of the Pacific Northwest between back to back record breaking summers, including the hottest one ever recorded. So what created this warm blob of water? Well, we think it was an unusually strong and persistent ridge of high pressure that dominated the west coast, allowing the sun to beat down, temperatures to climb, and keeping storms away, allowing that drought down in California to expand north up into Oregon and Washington state. The warmer, drier weather fueled one of the costliest fire seasons in the Pacific Northwest. Washington State, the largest fire in history, and smoking conditions even entered the valley. The blob is still turning off our coast, but it is showing signs of weakening, and this super El Nino just might help get rid of it altogether as more storms turn the water and cool the blob down. We actually look at this forecast for a super El Nino and are optimistic about it. The bottom line? Our odds of a winter closer to normal are likely better with El Nino than with the blob, which means hopefully a better winter with more mountain snow and lessening drought. You know, I mean, it's tough to have as bad of a winter as we did oh, yeah. last winter. You think about the summer on top of summer with the record heat. So the blob is really bad for us and it's starting to go away. El Nino is not the greatest, but Typically, it's better a little bit better blob. than what we've been dealing with. Better than the blob. So. I was wondering if it was, in fact, still out there, and I liked your graphic where it showed, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite smaller. It's going away, so we'll have to see if it comes back. This is a really new thing. Scientists, meteorologists trying to get a grasp on how to handle it, what's going to happen with it, but we think it's going away for now. Good. Hey, we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Kristen, right. thanks.